can you please go into more detail about cord cutting, specifically how to cut cords at the end of the night? I understand how to visualize cord cutting with a single person, but I'm a little confused on how to cut it with everyone you interact with. This is so great. So cord cutting is really something I go deeper into module six, but let's just talk really quick. One of my favorite things to do is to cord cut with the general public. So a lot of people know how to cut cords with a single person. How do you do it with the general public? It's all about intention. So I like to create a symbol. Remember the unconscious needs a symbol. I like to create a symbol or a visual or something that will represent a collective consciousness called everyone. So everyone is in some sort of a bubble or a shape or a color or whatever. And then I visualize, I see the cord attaching me. I just see like, uh, what do I see? I see scissors. So I see scissors belonging to nobody, <laughs> just coming in and cutting it. And it's very important that when the cord falls, you also see the roots fall from general public and me. So I see it from my heart to the hearts of everyone else. I see it falling, falling, very important that the roots come out. And then it drops to the floor, disintegrates. I see it literally turning into like glittery sparkles. So it gets transmuted up into the light. And then I see a refreshed cord. And I actually do this um, after launches when I'm having a um, live stream with like 10,000 people. This is incredibly important for me. And it has nothing to do with like, you're trying to say that these people are bad. Like, it's not about that. It's just about refreshing the energy. It's like when you have a million tabs open on your computer at the end of the day, you want to close the tabs because then your computer is slowed down. So you are just refreshing your software. You're just making sure that your software is running as smoothly as possible. You don't have any video playing in the background that doesn't make any sense for you to use up your own batteries to like when you have a bunch of stuff open on your computer, the battery runs out faster. It's the same thing with you. So you're refreshing the connection. So I do this whenever I do like a Q&A, when I do a breath work, when I do a live stream or something like that. So I see a refreshment. It's like a, a golden white sparkly cord that is not, a, it's like, it's like a ghost of a cord. So it's not like the black cord, but it's a ghost of a cord. And it's just kind of going around us in this um, infinity figure eight. Um, and that's it. And you can do this, especially before bed. I had a friend who was, who was struggling with sleeping. She was telling me that she cannot fall asleep for the life of her, take like three hours a night to fall asleep. And I just got this intuitive hit instead of offering, you know, CBD or something that, you know, is 3D. I just looked at her and I was like, I feel like you're just taking on a lot of people's energies. Try this practice. So I had her go home and try it. And the next day she, um, she came over again, or maybe it was two days later or whatever. She texted me and she was like, are you fucking kidding me? I fell asleep in 15 minutes. And I'm like, I know. My intuition told me to give you this tool. And then the next night, again, it just like cured her sleep issue. <laughs> I'm not saying that this is going to work for every sleep issue or every everyone's problem is that they're just being um, siphoned energetically. Their software is overrun. Uh, but if that is something that helps you, then that's great. 